Time now for the Peter Channel 6 o'clock news on this Sunday evening, December 11th, 2016. Good evening, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins here. The time is 6 o'clock on this Sunday evening here in. We got a temperature of 31 degrees here in North Massachusetts. Tonight's low is going to be done or about. Twenty six Sierra, the Peter Channel, six o'clock news on this Sunday evening. Their top three at six is a bipartisan group of four senators. It's called for our Congress to take a closer look at the allegations that Russia used average tax to try to influence the American land election in favor of Donald Trump. And Trump also suggests using bedrock China policy as a bargaining chip. Tilson choices raises questions of corporate versus national interest. Cairo, a bump whip fight that the Cairo's cup to cap federal complex during the sun mask, killing at least 25 people in Lindgren pointed out, and the latest bloodiest attack on any Egypt Christian minor in recent years, according to Egyptian officials. President Donald Trump told Fox News Sunday that he's open minded on environment initiatives suggested that he could be like controversial pipeline projects out of the current administration and at the same time allowing. I read the Islamic State military recapturing the city of Palmar from Syrian troops on Sunday, according to both sides of the battle, scored a major event today for your setbacks in Syria and the angry in Iraq. Istanbul, a Kurdish militant group claimed responsibility on Sunday for a double bomber that killed 39 people who were one before outside of South Christian in the heart of Istanbul the night before. Abuja, Nigeria, dozens of people were killed in South Nigeria after a new church collapsed when worshippers gathered for the ordination of the bishop, official said. Italy's foreign minister, Paolo Gentile, will try to form a new government hoping to lead the country out of the public political crisis. Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said that there is a kind of one in a UK relationship in Saturday Arabia. He has Reviewed by last week by Dinah Sweet after suggesting in a country back proxy wars in the Middle East. The wintry weather moved up mostly out of plains of night, leaving parts of Minnesota up to a foot of snow and pushing Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana. Michael Jim is reminded in the June 12 morning nearly every day. In the boarded up night club, he passed on a way to work at the Pulse Night Club in Orlando. He lectures. He gives it over to about the incident of the freaking Furby says New Tens. Harbor Springs, Michigan, a fire in Maine, Lodge of Point Highlands, a public ski resort in New Hampshire, Michigan, and Joe told people in Fort Street, I carry some dozens more early Sunday. Washington, Vice President Joe Biden has said he is a real man at 2021 for a bright house move under the door he seemingly closed the last week. Chicago, Chicago's airports announced a cancellation of a total of 1,397 flights Sunday amid a winter storm making its way eastward across the Midwest. New York, President elect Donald Trump called the CIA's assessment of Russia intervened by the United States President elect and ridiculous and accused by Democrats. Iran, Boeing finalized a $16.6 billion contract sale, 80 jets at Iran Air. Iran's manager directed the civil aviation organization and announced. Boston, the mayor comes to California to find out that an organization that helps prisoner mates earn college degrees have been named recipients of the Sears. John F. Kennedy, New Frontier Awards. Kennedy's grandson, Jack Slotsberg, will present an award to the company mayor, Adrian Brown, and Max Skinner, who founded the New York based Broad Prison Initiative. On a ceremony on Tuesday at the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum in Boston. The awards were created in honor of Americans under age 40 were changing their communities and a country with a commitment to public service. Winchester, Massachusetts, the Massachusetts Prosecutor is starting a public awareness campaign to educate parents and guardians on best sleep, sleep practices to help prevent in fatalities. Top of from Apple, Alphabet, Facebook, and Microsoft among the set to meet with Donald Trump on Wednesday in New York City. Passengers will be able to fly from London to Australia and for the first time when the airline contest launches its new service in March 2018. Yes, sir. Oh. Japan's HTTP supplies ship a blast off at the space station. For several of the best cancer to suffer, again, in the hands of Kimi Ferry, there could be a major discovery. The seven of them comes from the people who must endure their chemotherapy to a breast cancer diagnosis up to acute and one of the most. Miami Beach, while afforded a decorated crisis with a local train village to the Zika for our season and welcome to Nathan at the peak tourism month sale for 40 days more that travels could continue bringing in the disease. Our internal report blames staff at a veterans affairs hospital in Florida for leaving the body of the seats. Frederick can close the shelf in nine hours and try to cover up. Our city, Iowa. 
Government statistics released this week that 77 minors in the U.S. were killed by intentional gun discharge last year. Significantly, how to state the school and during public health problem. Okay, take a look at New England Insolence Report in Addison, Vermont. A major accident at 7,099. Vermont 22 AJ. Companies rival two car moving accident, one person pin. Tools were in use. And in Manchester, New Jersey. Building fire, 195, Bridge Street, the Bridge Street Hotel. And at 4 1 p.m., it was under control. Okay. Peter Chill News Time is 6 05 on this Sunday, and it's time now for our sports board. But on this Sunday evening here tonight, the Boston Celtics will be taking on Open Scene Thunder. We'll have more on the sports coming up on the Peter Sunday night. Sports Matter coming up at 10 o'clock. Pittsburgh Seals, Brent Bell, record setting day in the knockoff Bills, 27 to 20. Houston, Texas claim first place by AFC South by Sweeping Colts, 22 to 17. And Louisville quarterback Lamar Jackson wins the 2016 Husband Trophy, becoming the youngest winner of the award. And the Middle Survivor gets back to the position for the men. They win out after losing 6 to 7 in the past 7 games. Peter Chell News Time is now 6 0 6 on this. Sunday, the minutes come now for O. Driving and transit report. Beep, beep. Let's go to the MBT with civil and that's all to space with minor laser disabled bus on the Camino Rail Fitchburg train 24 away. 2 3 for him and bodies operate in 10 3 minutes late between North London Street and North Station to do freight train interference. And on the ferries, they are looking good. Okay, let's take a look at the highways and byways of New England. I was in Mowies in New York City, a slogan. Take a look at Connecticut, 95. On the southbound side, back in Springfield and on for Greenwich. 95, northbound side, back in Greenwich, down to Northwalk. Merritt Parkway, westbound, back in the Bridgeport, all the way down to Greenwich. Merritt Parkway, eastbound side, back in the Norwalk stretch. Merritt Parkway, eastbound side, it is backed up from the New Haven stretch and the Hammond stretch. Merritt Parkway, westbound side, back in the New Haven stretch. Route 8 in the southbound side, it's backed up from the all the way down to Bristol. 91 in the southbound side, it's backed up from 2157 in Springfield. Mass Bank in the westbound side, back from the Beggar stretch. So we have way, both ends of back in the middle back of the main tree split. Up in the rapture, 295 on the southbound side. It's a little so just around right Freeport Main Stretch. Interstate 87 and 89. The southbound side, little sort of Kennedy Border up in upstate New York and Vermont. And over 59. The northbound side, slow in the Kennedy Border headed towards Montreal. Peter Channel News Time is 607 on this Sunday evening. And it is time now for a weather report and Take a look at radar and it shows some snow showers in central and western portions of Massachusetts and much of Connecticut and central, central and western portions of Long Island around the New York City area and stretching in southwestern New Hampshire and south central Vermont and summer Vermont. And look at it. Snow is stretching all the way down to the Great Lakes from Ohio down to much of Michigan. Northern India and Northern Illinois and the southern portions of Wisconsin and the eastern portions of Iowa and the northeastern portions of Missouri. While seeing some sleet around northeastern Minneapolis and around Columbus, Ohio. And rain showers off the Jersey Shore. And seeing some spotty snow showers stretch around the Minneapolis St. Paul area and the western portion of Wisconsin and the northeastern Minnesota and the northwestern Wisconsin. And stretching all the way down to Ontario from Detroit all the way down to Toronto and then up and down Ottawa and some. Snow showers ran west of Montreal and snow showers in the Indian central portions of Quebec. While seeing a line of rain showers stretching from the Ohio Valley, stretching down to Arkansas, down to western and eastern portions of Missouri, and patch rain showers in the northeastern and southeastern portions of Texas. Alright! Take a look at road conditions that could be affected right now by the snow. In addition to New York City and vicinity, we're seeing Interstate 88. Both ends in New York State is backed up from Efton all the way to Interstate 81. A6 is both backed up from Livingston, Manor, to Rock Hill. Interstate 86 on both ends is backed up from Hancock all the way out to Horseheads, New York. And Interstate 390 is backed up from Avoca. Interstate A6 is backed up from Honel to Bath, New York. And Interstate 390 is backed up around the Thurry, headed towards Rochester, New York. And Interstate A1 is backed up from Binghamton down to Cortland on both ends. Interstate Route 41 and both ends of Backman Fulton. 
New York State three on an eastbound side. It is backed up from Buffalo all the way to Batavia down to Leroy. And New York State three westbound side. It is backed up headed towards the Pennsylvania border on both ends. Interstate A6 backed up at Samaka headed towards the Pennsylvania border. Interstate 90 is backed up at both ends by the Pennsylvania. Interstate 79 is backed up from Sunny Lake down to Erie. And Route 11 is backed up from Youngstown and Astabula and out in the Cleveland vicinity. Interstate 90 is backed up for downtown Cleveland. Interstate 90 and Ohio Turnpike is backed up from Ohio Turnpike. It's looking good, but Interstate 90 is backed up from Cleveland all the way out to L.A. headed towards the Ohio Turnpike. And the Ohio Turnpike is backed up between Fremont and Bellevue and Highways and Bowways at Toledo, which means Interstate 75. Ohio Turnpike 288 is backed up in U.S. 24 is backed up in Wild wow, Turnpike is backed up from Ginsburg all the way in towards the Indian border here. And up in Michigan, all of the highways and byways of Michigan House logo, including the Detroit Metropolitan Area. And the Indian Turnpike gets backed up from Hell all the way down to the Ohio border. And the entire Chicago land metropolitan area, it's logo because of the snow. We're going to say 88 is backed up from Chicago all the way out to the Davenport, Iowa, Interstate 3 is backed up from Mendota all the way up to Rockford. And Interstate 94 is backed up from Chicago to Milwaukee. And all the way to Madison. Interstate 43 is backed up from Beloit, including Milwaukee and Minnesburg. And Interstate 9 is backed up below down to Janesville. And US 151 is backed up to the brigade down to Platteville. And the entire Minneapolis St. Paul traffic wise, it's logo. Interstate 94 is backed up around St. Cloud. And Route 35 is backed up to the North Branch. Okay, close to home here, not near. We have Hazardous Weather Outlook here. Snow will spread the region this evening and inch or two of the snow accumulation is possible before changing the rain by daybreak on Monday. And Thursday and Friday, a cold cold will front will cross the region on Thursday. This will result in potential of bitterly cold wind chills of 15 25 below zero late Thursday night or in Friday morning. And additional period of North West wind gusts of 40 50 miles on Thursday night and Friday morning. This may be quite an issue of both wind and wind chill headlines. Okay, let's take a look at seven day forecast that goes like this. For the night, main storm may have 11 p.m. Blowout on 26 degrees. Southwest about 5 miles come and calm. Chest base is 9 percent. Turn to 9 percent. Screen ratio 1 to 3 inches possible for Monday. Rain is before 1 p.m. Then a chest rain between 1 and 2 p.m. Fudge fog before 1 p.m. High at 47 degrees. Southwest about 6 to 10 miles ago in the western afternoon, once you get outside, 20 miles an hour, 30 inches, 100% new strength ratio left than 9 inch possible for Monday night. Most of the guys are going to come and most of the goods about 20 degrees. West about 6 to 9 miles an hour for Tuesday. Most of the Sunday park got about 40, about 25 degrees. West about 6 miles of light, southwest wind for Wednesday. Most of the Sunday, most of the guys about 39, about 21 degrees. For Thursday, a chance of snow showers afternoon before 11 p.m. Mostly Sunday, most of the guys about 26, about 40 degrees. Chance of snow showers 30%. Friday, Sunday park got about 19, about 12 degrees. And Saturday, snow and rain likely have about 40, about 37 degrees. Chance of snow showers 6%. And for Sunday, it took rain, plus the sun's got about 45 degrees. Just make sure it's 50%. Currently in Taunton, it's 32 degrees overcast skies. Here for the year, 50%. Here, not near it's overcast skies. We got a temperature of 31 degrees. Here for the year, 58%. And all the way men's field, it is 31 degrees. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. 6 o'clock news on this December the 11th, 2069. A Sunday evening, I'm Peter Drake. Be have a good evening. Goodbye today. See you at 11 o'clock for Peter Channel. Sign off news report. I hope you have a good evening.